Okay, are you here because I used the words over unity in the uh, video title? <laughs> well, I, th I think that uh, the setup is over something. Let's take a look at it and, and maybe you can give me some ideas and see what you think about it. Um, this is the uh, window motor that I've used in other videos on, on my channel. And the uh, <clears throat> same Bedini circuit board. Uh, this is a sequential bipolar circuit. And I'm only using one, one of the two trigger coils, so I'm using basically half the circuit. Uh, the power supply is a uh, Lambda 0 to 20 volt power supply. And I've never seen it put out more than 20 volts, and I've used it on a lot of different load applications. Um, there's a feedback circuit here, as shown in a lot of the uh, Bedini uh, circuit diagrams. This switch switches the uh, uh, collected uh, voltage from the uh, circuit back through the, the uh, diodes here and back onto the uh, input uh, uh, battery, if it happens to be a battery. In this case, it's the, uh, it's the uh, power supply. So let's take a look at what's going on. All right, right now, it's running pretty much as usual as uh, you've seen it before. What I found is a, a critical tuning area on the circuit where I can get some extra load on the motor and have the voltage increase. So let me switch on the, uh, the feedback and watch the motor speed or, or listen to it and watch the, uh, the voltage. Circuit's on. Motors climbing in speed. Voltage is up to 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41. Forty-two. 41.9, 42 volts on the 20 volt power supply. Switch it off again, we'll do that again. You can see it dropping. At least I hope you can see it dropping. <clears throat> Down to 20... Actually, it's bouncing up to about 21 volts, which means the input circuit's uh, putting back a little bit of extra voltage as it is. Now remember, this is only hooked up to the input, not to the output. So this uh, extra voltage that's coming back is coming right back through the input. Switch it on again. And we go up. And the tuning is, is pretty critical. If I get just the right spot, I get I get a higher RPM and higher voltage coming out. Let me see if I can get closer to the uh, power supply to take a look at this. So there you can see it. Uh, you can see the model and the uh, output of the uh, power su supply uh, saying 0 to 20 volts. You switch off. And there we go down. It's 21 volts again. Once again, switch on the feedback. So there you have it. If uh, any of you experts out there would like to chime in and give me some idea about what's going on, I'd appreciate it.
certainly is interesting. Thank you for watching. I'll update you later.